Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today it is Friday and I have a rather exciting Friday plan. Although I'm not gonna lie, I'm not overly happy with the weather today. The weather doesn't seem to have listened to my plans and well, let's just say this is what we're looking at right now. Rain, rain, rain. So if you've noticed that it is looking like a little bit purpley in camera, it's because it's just so, so dark today. Honestly, it's so overcast, like I genuinely am tempted to turn on the lights. But I didn't want the weather to deter me today because today we're going to be doing some summery things. So I just wanted to kind of like do a bit of getting ready for summer. So I guess we can kind of preempt this and this can be us getting ready for when the weather does turn. Because let's be honest, we're in June, it's not going to be raining for fingers crossed too much longer um and hopefully once the weather has turned and once summer is like here again we can use this use this time to have gotten ready for it obviously we did have a little bit of a heat wave um a couple of weeks ago and it was so so nice it was just really like lovely to be out in the sun seeing everyone enjoying themselves enjoying the weather so i'm really really hoping that that comes back around quite quickly but i thought seeing as though gonna be inside today like we can't leave the house we can't really do anything today's the perfect day just to do a lot of like summer admin which i'm kind of excited about like i really really enjoy these kinds of things i find it very cathartic just to kind of like each season kind of get myself ready get myself sorted and i'm not gonna lie i feel like the flat at the moment just needs a bit of a blitz like i just feel like things have kind of cluttered up it's looking very like busy is the only way to describe it and I just want to have like a big old sort out so I thought today would be the perfect day whilst it's raining whilst we're inside whilst it's a little bit miserable we can manifest summer again by getting ready for it in this vlog so I'm going to get on make myself a coffee and have a little bit of a blitz My word is there anything better than just having a good old blitz of all the things that like you've just been putting off for so so long i have literally done like the entire flat i cleaned the living room like rearranged a few things i then sorted out our wardrobe and i even sorted out some of alex's stuff for him because he is hadn't like swapped over his summer and winter stuff and because he had jumpers as well as like summer tops his wardrobe was slowly creeping into like my half of the wardrobe and i just said to him i was like i'm just gonna i'm gonna pull your jumpers away i'm just gonna sort it for you um so i've done that and i've also cleared out this wardrobe which honestly guys you should have seen this this section of it before it was awful but it's now all nice and sorted this is like my organization you know like all my kind of stuff that just needs to be like hidden away um i've done all of that this morning and that's taken me pretty much all morning like it's about midday now um but the thing that i kind of want to tackle next is my shelves i'm thinking about them quite a lot recently and i think i maybe want to go a little bit more minimal with them i'm really enjoying the very like minimal style at the moment um i think 
think I want to incorporate that into my shelves. I, I don't know, I don't know if you've noticed, I've recently been putting away some of my more like wintry bags, so like my Louis Vuitton has gone away, my like darker browns have gone away, um, just because I find that like, they weren't vibing with my like summer kind of aesthetic, so I've put them away, they've like gone at the top of this wardrobe here, just in this bit, um, so that they can just be kept, kept away nicely, and then it means that in winter I can bring them all back out and kind of like really embrace a very like wintry aesthetic. I think I want to like really start embracing the more kind of like seasonal aesthetics with regards to my shelves. So I think I'm going to have a little bit of like a reorganise of these and just like shuffle them about because you guys know how much I love shuffling about my shelves. I always love looking at like the aesthetic of them and like how they're kind of like playing into like my vibe at the moment and things like that. So I think I'm just going to have a little bit of a reorganise on the shelves. And you guys know my cardinal rule when it comes to reorganizing shelves is to take everything off and start from a blank slate. So that's what I'm gonna do. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take everything off of these shelves and then we can really get into the summer shelf styling. I am really excited. <laughs> grab like a damp cloth and just kind of like dust all of the um the shelves because you wouldn't believe how much builds up on these shelves like it can get really dusty now it's time to get filling the shelves now there are some things that i'm probably not going to change like obviously i've left these picture frames and stuff there um and things like Pampas grass, I absolutely love that up here. I think it works really, really well. So there are a few things I'm not going to change, but like I think, as I said, I'm just going to really focus on a more minimal vibe. And I'm not sure there might also be like a couple of gaps that I might notice with things that I want to like fill with maybe new homeware pieces. I am going to be doing some like homeware shopping soon, so then I know like if I want to fill like with new pieces in and stuff like that, and I can really get the vibe of kind of what I'm going for for the really like minimal summer aesthetic. later and I'm not gonna lie the time lapse actually timed out on itself because I was like doing the shelves for so long so I'm not entirely sure where we got up to together you'll probably have missed a fair fair amount of it but the shelves are looking amazing if I do say so myself I always find that with these things it's kind of like you go through these like creative ruts and then suddenly like all comes together and I am so happy with how they're looking so here we are as i said i've gone for really really minimal vibe let me come over here so you can see it a bit better um so we've just kind of gone for very like neutral tones i've literally gotten rid of almost all color the only color you'll be able to see is this little pink book down the bottom which actually is kind of annoying me so i don't know whether it's worth changing that up for like a more neutral book um but i am loving loving how it looks so i've decided to take out a shelf here just to really like highlight my basket bag because i currently or well, not currently used to have my basket bag up there kind of decided i don't want it up there anymore i wasn't vibing with it and also i couldn't reach it so i either had to like jump and knock it off or i'd have to ask alex to get it for me which was just starting to drive me nuts so i've decided to keep it down there and i really like how it looks i think the white and the kind of like basket vibe just really ties in nicely i've got my hydrangeas which i showed you in a couple of vlogs ago this is the vase that I featured in my come shopping with me that I got from West Elm. I love how it looks. I think it's so, so cute. I've tested it with the pampas grass up there, but I don't like it as much with the pampas grass. But I think with the hydrangeas, it looks so, so pretty. And yeah, we've just gone for very, very neutral vibes. And then I can kind of like bring in the pops of colour that I'm feeling here. So obviously we've got pinks going on at the moment, which does go quite well with the book down there. But yeah, I'm really, really feeling it. And the um, 
the spare <laughs> shelf is now going to sit over there. I'll just pop it like behind the wardrobe or something just in case I ever want to bring it out again because knowing me, I will change these shelves around a lot more. But I am so, so feeling them. I'm actually, I'm going to speak to you here because it's always so weird when I'm, <laughs> I'm speaking to you and I'm not actually on camera. I actually got quite a lot of inspiration from Tara Milk Tea. I absolutely love her her instagram and i love how seasonal her shelves are so she'll literally do like a full color scheme so like full blue or like full red so like you know, i think at the moment it's autumn there in australia so she's doing like autumn colors so like oranges yellows reds and it looks so so pretty and i really liked that and she has done like a very neutral one before um so that's kind of where i got my inspiration from and I, so i just love the way that it just kind of like ties in together it looks so minimal and chic and i really really like it and obviously you know that I'm probably going to change these shelves eventually, but I just think it looks so, so nice. So now my task is to tidy up all of this that you can see behind me. <laughs> I've got a few bags that I'm taking off of the shelves and I'm just going to store in my wardrobe here. Because um, I do have quite a lot of room in there for bags, um, but obviously I normally have them out on display. But I'm trying to kind of cut down how many I have on display just because I don't want it to ever get too much. Um, and also, by having less bags on display, this is going to sound really, really weird, but having less bags on display is gonna make me a bit more minimal in terms of like the bags that I add into my wardrobe because I don't ever want to get to a stage where I'm like just adding bags for bags sake. I always want them to be really considered, really thought through. Um, and I definitely think my shelves are now reflecting that, which I really, really like about it. So now it's time to put all this away, shove that away and tidy this place up again. I'm literally loving how this is looking in the background of this video, but I've had a new order arrive that I wanted to go through with you guys because it's from a brand that I haven't shopped at in a long long time i used to love shopping at a warehouse and actually i can tell you for why i haven't shopped there for such a long time it's because i remember when i was a teenager i used to live in southampton with my parents and they used to have a warehouse in like the strip if you know southampton like the strip that goes down towards the precinct and they used to be like a dorothy perkins a warehouse thing in selfridge and they got rid of all of them and i remember everyone was heartbroken when that happened and i genuinely think i haven't really shopped at warehouse since then which is absolutely crazy and um, i saw a few pieces and like a few ads that people are doing on instagram and some really really gorgeous pieces and i was just thinking to myself do you know what let's do a little warehouse order get some new pieces unbox them together and i can show you what i picked up so let's get straight into this haul okay i'm just gonna pull it out as we go and we can we can see what the pieces look like as we pull them up like oh this is absolutely gorgeous so the first one we have is this really really gorgeous little puff sleeve top and i remember seeing this online and just thinking that is a bit of me you guys know i love these tops and i don't actually own like a plain just like no patterns no frills no lacing kind of a version of this and i just thought this was so beautiful it's like this really stunning linen fabric it's like this linen textured colored kind of creamy tone i think it's just absolutely gorgeous oh it is in linen which is great i love this so so much it's got the gorgeous puff sleeves it's got the gorgeous square neck details so many aspects of like summer dressing that i just absolutely adore and i picked this up in a 10 and it is looking a little bit big but i think i think that should fit quite nicely paired with like a high-waisted pair of jeans or maybe a little skirt i think that would look so so cute well i think we all know that this linen top is going to be one that i am going to live in this summer i'm so excited to be adding this into my summer wardrobe this is gorgeous now one thing i will say is it does feel a little bit oversized like i have tucked it in and it's a little bit looser than some of my other tops that are similar to this it feels more like a 12 than it does a 10 so take that as you will um maybe i could have sized down on this one but i do still really love it i love the fact that it's more of a sweetheart neckline than it is square i find that so so flattering i think it's so cute i've just paired it with like a cute little pair of denim shorts these are really old but i'll link some similar ones down below for you guys i love the puff sleeve i think it's always just so so flattering and actually the linen sits really really nice on my skin tone i do sometimes find with these kind of linen fabrics you have to be a bit careful i find the more like cooler toned ones usually wash me out a little bit but this because it's a bit more like peachy i think sits really really nicely against my skin so i'm really happy about this i think this is a great addition to my summer wardrobe and i can't wait to get wearing this this next one you guys are going to be like what when you see this color we've gone for a bright bright pink here guys and i cannot wait to show you this i remember seeing this online just thinking that is stunning so it's this gorgeous full length bright fuchsia pink dress i kind of wish i had this for my wedding guest outfit video because i think this actually could be another 
potential for a wedding guest outfit. I don't know if it's a little bit too bright of a pink, but it's so, so gorgeous. It's like this, um, what's that kind of fabric? Do you remember those trousers that we would always wear on holiday when we were kids? It's that kind of like a ribbed, lightweight fabric, which I absolutely love. And one of my favorite details is this button detail going down. I absolutely love that detail. Do you, don't know if you remember from a Zara haul a couple of months ago, I had that pink silk one and I ended up returning it just because I didn't feel comfortable enough with the fact that like those kind of silk dresses really sit on your tummy but the thing that I love the most about it was the button detail and I always said how flattering it was so when I saw this I thought that is the best kind of alternative for that Zara dress where it has this like rib detail you know I always love a rib detail because it definitely kind of takes the eye away from maybe those areas that you're not so confident in and the buttons will really bring in your silhouette so I'm really excited to try this on again I got this in a 10 it's really stretchy as well it's actually less formal in person than I thought it was going to be but I definitely think this is the kind of thing that you could easily dress up or dress down I think this is just beautiful oh my word this is beautiful oh this is absolutely gorgeous yeah I definitely wish I had this for my wedding guest outfit video because this is stunning I love the fact that it's got this tiny little side slit here because it means that when you walk you just see a little bit extra leg and as I said this button detail is so so flattering look at that it's absolutely gorgeous I love it I probably put, should have put a bra on with this but actually you can get away probably with wearing no bra if you did really want to but I love the length of it it's like a gorgeous basically a maxi length on me I think it's probably supposed to be about midi but on me it's maxi and actually the sleeves aren't too loose like one thing I was thinking was that the spaghetti sleeves are I was suddenly like oh they're gonna fit because they're not adjustable actually they fit really really nicely and I think if I had a bra on it would just bring them up slightly just even more I would definitely wear a strapless bra with this just in case you're wondering what kind of bra I'd wear but I love this I think this is so so gorgeous this is definitely going to be a dress that i live in this summer this to me is like such a gorgeous like fancy cocktail date night or even wedding guest outfit dress and we have some shoes that are going to match that dress oh my word oh no they're not actually quite as matching as i thought they were going to be okay maybe they're not going to match the dress but i can still style them up in a different way so it's these stunning pair of little sandals I love them they're a bit more red in person I thought they were going to be I'm not entirely sure what color they're going to come up on camera but I thought they were going to be a bit more like kind of pinky toned um but they're still really really cute I, I don't know if you've noticed but I have been wearing little pops of red here and there and I've been kind of enjoying it if you watch my wedding guest outfit video you would have seen that red Zara dress oh my word I actually loved that dress and I'm not normally one to go for red so after I loved that dress so much I thought you know what I'm going to add little pops of red into my wardrobe here and there and these sandals are just beautiful and I picked these up in a four I believe it literally doesn't tell me but I'm pretty sure I picked them up in a four I pretty much always go for a four in these kind of sandals if you're new around here just for reference I'm like a three and a half and some shoes I size down to a three most of the time when it comes to flats I size up to a four just especially when you can adjust them I find a four is much better to go for because you can always pull them in tighter whereas you can't make them much looser if you know what I mean but I just love these I think these are such a cute pair of sandals I've been wanting to add a pair of these kind of strappy sandals in a flat version into my wardrobe for quite a long time because I've got like white heeled ones I've got brown heeled ones but I didn't own any flat ones so I'm really excited that I'm going to be adding these into my wardrobe and I think I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them actually okay and then next up we have the most adorable little bucket bag can we just take a minute to appreciate this it is so so cute it's like this really stunning like woven kind of fabric which I absolutely love now this I actually did pick up when I went to the showroom which was a couple of weeks ago now if you follow me on Instagram and on my Instagram stories I was posting about it over there I was very kindly invited by warehouse to come and check out that showroom and see some new in pieces so I will see if this is online yet if not I'll keep an eye out for it I think this was actually from Oasis rather than warehouse obviously there's so many companies that are owned by Boohoo groups so like sometimes I can get confused but this bag is just the cutest little thing I can totally imagine this with like little white summer dresses and brown sandals if you saw my recent H&M haul those brown sliders and this bag and a white dress that is my summer vibe to a T and then the last thing I picked up of course I could not do a haul without at least one black item because you know what I'm like but guys you're gonna love this dress how beautiful is this it's absolutely gorgeous it's very similar in the kind of silhouette of my Cezanne dress and I've noticed quite a few brands doing this kind of like silhouette recently so it's definitely a very trendy silhouette at the moment and I absolutely love it it's this gorgeous kind of like a-line dress 
start with these big puffy sleeves and you guys know how much I love a puffy sleeve. This to me is a summer like date night dress. This is a evening out when you want to look really formal, you want to look dressed up, you still want to be really like light. I believe this is another linen fabric. Linen puff sleeve shift dress. Yep, it's linen, so it's really, really lightweight and it's gonna be so, so wearable when the weather is really, really hot. So hopefully the rain goes. Or if you maybe have a holiday plan, this would be absolutely beautiful. So I think this is gonna be like my summer evening dress that I add into my wardrobe. This is gonna be the kind of thing I reach for time and time again. You guys know that I have been on a mission recently to like perfect my evening wardrobe and I definitely think this is an amazing addition into my evening wardrobe. Oh, this dress is the one. I love it so much. These sleeves are very, very OTT, but I'm kind of here for that. I love it. They're definitely a bit like bigger and puffier than my Cezanne one, but I love it. I really, really love it. It's so, so cute. I love the square neckline. Absolutely gorgeous. You guys know how much I love a square neckline and the length is like perfect. It's like a really, really nice midi length on me i think it sits so so nicely it's a little bit tight at the moment around my hips um but i do feel like because it's linen as soon as you start like sitting down walking about it will stretch out and i've just paired it with the sandals i mean how gorgeous is that if you're not one that likes wearing heels or anything for like a night out or if you want to just like wear a pair of flats for a meal i think these are so so cute they go so nicely with this dress they look absolutely gorgeous i'm such a fan of them the color is definitely a lot more red than i was expecting but i do love them i think they look so so cute so what a successful haul this has definitely set up my summer wardrobe especially my summer evening wear wardrobe i feel like i'm so so ready for all the summer nights out now all the meals the date nights the seeing friends going for drinks i am definitely ready for that now Oh my word, I don't know if you can hear the rain coming down outside now, but it has gotten a lot heavier than it was before. But I've just had a new little delivery arrive. How cute is this little bag? But I wanted to show you guys because it's from a brand that I have not tried yet. And I'm very excited about. They very kindly reached out and asked if I wanted to try some things. So it's a brand called Adobeo, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Do correct me if I'm wrong, if you've heard from the brand. Um, they just put in a little note and it said hey ellie we're so excited to introduce you to adobio and their sakitanal trio set so they're at adobio japan on instagram i will link to their instagram down below as well but we have three items here please tell me that there's english on here it's not just japanese okay so we've got the fresh balancing toner i love a toner i feel like just at the end of the day when you're just like after you've cleansed and you just want that really like deep just final step i love that so i'm really excited to try that i've been currently using the ren toner and i absolutely adore it but i do find just because of the fact that it is coconut not coconut cucumber it can be a little bit strong so if you have sensitive skin it's not one for you so maybe this one will be one for those with like quite sensitive skin and that sounds really exciting and then we've also got the radiance booster mask which sounds lovely, you guys know I'm all about radiance boosting. This one says, wash and dry your face, wiping away any water, then apply a two centimeter dollop of, of the face mask to your hand, gently apply to the face, avoiding your eyes and areas around the mouth, rest the product on the face for five to 10 minutes, then rinse away with lukewarm water. So this to me sounds like the perfect thing when I'm like in the bath or just having like a bit of a pamper evening. This sounds really, really nice. And the last one we have is the Intense Hydrating Serum, which sounds really lovely. I have really, really dry skin. So I use a lot of like serums that are designed at kind of like hydrating, rebalancing, things like that. Um, so this sounds really, really nice. Oh, it says gently shake the product until the serum becomes white. Add five to six drops and massage into the skin. I might just open this one. Can I? I feel like we just need to see the colour of this. Oh, I think because it's been shaken about a bit, it's already white. But that's what the um, the serum looks like. It's like a very, looks like a milky serum, which I've never really tried before. I usually go for quite oily serums. So that sounds very exciting. Some lovely, lovely products there. Thank you so much to Adobe for these sound like they're going to be the perfect additions into my summer skincare routine. So do let me know if you want to see like a video on that, on like my summer skincare, like how I'm changing it up. Because I do really find that like I change up my makeup and my skincare quite a lot depending on the season. So I love making the most of my summer skincare routine. So let me know if you guys want to see how I'm adding them into my routine. 
and on that note i think i will end this vlog here i hope you guys have enjoyed it i know it's been a very time lapse heavy video but this really has been like a getting ready for summer like i feel like i've got my life together in this video and i feel so so good for it i always feel like these kinds of things are so cathartic so if you need a little nudge take this as your your push to go and do the things you're not wanting to be doing whether that's switching over to your summer wardrobe whether that's just having a bit of a clear out of your wardrobe switching over your shelves switching up your makeup or your skincare routine getting some new in fashion pieces i feel like there's been a lot that has been happening in this video so i really hope you guys enjoyed it please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did that really really helps me out to know what kind of videos you guys like to see if you're new you know what to do hit that subscribe button and i will see you in my next video bye guys